Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Simon from BizLearn again. Hi and welcome to another Inkscan Secrets tutorial where I'm trying to get the most out of Siemens NX by using selection rules. Horizontal modeling is the method I told you before that is just concerning to one rule. Each time you create a relation, keep it as unique as possible. And this is done by selecting the possibly oldest object available. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create extremely flexible rips, which I want to demonstrate. First of all, I'm going to delete one of my curves and add an additional curve. You can even delete the overall sketch or replace it by something else. It will maintain stable. There's even no review required. As you can see here, all the rips maintain. Therefore, I'm going to create a new file to show you the overall process. And I'm going to create a kind of dummy sketch which shall be replaced afterwards. I'm going to use a rectangle first of all and create a copy of my sketch below curve. You can see the derived curves is composite, which I'm going to use. And I'm going to reset this and select my overall sketch in the part navigator independent from the selection rule declared upon here. If you right click your selection, you can see it's feature curves being used. Horizontal modeling means use feature curves instead of any other type of curve in here because it's a relation to the overall sketch. The curves are not joined, that's very important, and it's associative. I'm going to create my point set next, which you can find below your datum dropdown, it's point set. And this one is related to my composite curves, but anyway, I'm going to reset this. It's curve points, it's curve percentage. And it's not single curve, it's the composite curve. After selecting in the part navigator, if you right click your selection, you can see it's feature curves being used. And I want my ribs to be positioned, first of all, at 50%. And I'm now going to create another copy of my points, like this, with a composite curve. You can see it is possible to create a copy of points as well, because I also want to replace my point set by some custom points later on. I'm going to create a top plane for my extrusion limitation. Therefore, I'm going to use datum plane. Select my top plane here and I think 30 millimeters is fine. And now I can extrude my composite curve, not my sketch. That's important to use the composite curve now. Do not create a relation to your sketch. You can hide it if you don't need it. I can hide everything else as well, of course. My end value is until selected, it's my plane, which also could have been hidden. Before I create my draft next, I'm going to create a datum axis for my draft direction. I'm going to reset this command and use my set axis and just increase the length a little bit because it's much easier afterwards to select this. I'm going to move it to my second position and create a draft. My vector is here. My parting phase is this one. And faces to draft is my body faces, the overall body, all the faces of my body. My angle is A and G is one. So you can see I've created a user expression. And I'm going to create my edge blends next. First one is related to my overall body. I'm going to delete the adjacent faces of my top and bottom. This is something that maintains stable as well because I have a relation within my deletion to top and body of my extrude, which always maintains because always just one top and one bottom. And I'm going to create another edge blend related to my face edges on top as well, which has a slightly different value. That's the reason why I've deleted top as well. And now I can create my shell. And I'm going to select my bottom face as well. And this is going to maintain stable because all the selection rules and all the relations are unique. So my main body has finished. So I'm going to create a group. And think about my ribs now. For my ribs, I need a coordinate system. And to create this coordinate system, I need a datum axis related to my composite curve, meaning the on curve vector. It's just one click on the composite curve and it's a percentage value zero. And the other one is similar. It's also my composite curve. It's zero. 
but it's parallel to an existing object and I select this one. And we need a point for our sketch. So I'm going to use point and relate it to my composite curve as well. I'm just going to reset this to show you the type we have to choose. It's point on curve. Select your composite curve. Select percentage and zero. That's fine. So we got everything now to create a sketch and a datum sees this before and therefore I use, I'm going to reset this as well, a definition called, well, let's say you see X in origin, maybe X, Y in origin, like this. Select your point, select your X axis, select your Y axis like this. And now I can create the sketch for my rip. And that's very important now. The rip, first of all, the rip I'm going to create is completely independent from my main body. You can hide your main body as well. I'm going to start the extrude. Sketch will be internal. And you can see it's not well orientated because of my coordinate system I've created. Maybe you could have thought about X and Y direction, however. I'm just going to show my main body because of my very varied orientation. Maybe I'm going to reattach my sketch. Let's reattach the sketch. This is my sketch plane and I'm going to use another vector. I'm going to use this axis here and just reverse it like this. And now my sketch is well orientated. We need the top plane here as a reference and I'm going to create a profile. And to select your top plane, you have to define a filter that allows you selection of top planes. All right, and I can directly finish my sketch. It will be extruded. I'm going to use TH1 divided by 2 and a symmetric value. No Boolean operation, of course. And I'm going to create my draft next. And faces to draft. If I use body here, uh, you can see um, there's a kind of problem. It will increase its length, which I want to avoid, of course. That's why I'm going to relate to single face instead and select those outer faces, top and bottom face of the extrude. You can see the draft direction is well defined. And now I can create an edge blend related to this body. My thickness is three and I create a, an expression called RAD is one and related to the overall body. So if you change the design of your rip afterwards, it will everything maintain. And now I'm going to create a group of my rip and start creating the copy via pattern feature. I'm going to reset the command. First of all, I'm going to select the overall group and it's a general pattern from this point to these points, but instead of selecting your point set, you will select your composite curve instead. And let's see what happens. You can see there's an unsupported situation because the pattern method needs to be variational. And you can see it's calculated. That's important not to keep it simple. It should be variational, but everything is directed into the same direction that's a problem so i need this to be directed depending on my outline however but you cannot reference to outlines via orientation follow face is possible so i'm gonna just hit ok i don't want to delete my pattern to create something new i want to repair it afterwards and i need an outline therefore i'm gonna copy my first extrude you could have created a new extrude but that's much simpler and I want this to be a sheet body instead. And I'm going to move it upon here. Maybe this is also a kind of concept geometry. So I'm going to move it to this position and you can hide this. It don't have to be displayed. So nothing has to be displayed. Here's my pattern, which I'm going to repair now. I'm going to select follow face, select my extrude, which is here. And there's nothing else to be defined. You can see it follows the face very, very proper. 
And, well, I want to combine my ribs and my main body now. And there's only one very, very stable thing we can do. We can create a copy of our extrude without the shell. So I'll select my last edge blend before the shell. Right click and extract a body here. That's the fastest way to create a copy. And now I'm going to combine those elements by using intersect this extracted body with the complete pattern feature. I'm going to create another group, which I call ribs. And now it's time to unite my main body, which is here. It's this one with my ribs and create an edge blend related to feature intersection edges. And what I do usually, you can hide this, you can put it to a layer somehow, but what I prefer doing is to a deletion when it's not required anymore. It's a single body that I'm gonna delete. Well, there must be some kind of mistake here. Yeah. So let's check this. I think the extrude is no, it's not united, but there must be some a unite somewhere. It's my rip pattern intersect. Yeah, you can see a unite that is related to the overall group. What you can do is after you've created your pattern, you can delete this body. And of course, then it won't be united anymore. That's just a kind of warning here because the number of tools and bodies has changed, but that's fine. Let's check it out whether it's stable or not. Therefore, I'm going to create, maybe create a new sketch and replace it afterwards or just edit your curves, however. No review required, as I promised. And let's also create some custom points. Of course, you can edit your point set as well, create another set maybe. To add additional points but if you really want custom points you can see this is gonna work but if you really want custom points you have to work with a replace so therefore i'm going to create another sketch i hope you're satisfied with this tutorial it was hard stuff but anyway I did this several times and of course I produce mistakes as well in some cases because if some selection rules are not proper. But anyway, if you follow my horizontal modeling techniques, you can receive results like this. If you liked the video, let me know via the like button. If you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon again. Goodbye.